Hi and welcome to another bad report. This is uh, game 3 of the TNQ tournament, 3000 points. So after one big loss and one pretty big win, uh, I am facing the dwarf. And as you can see in this picture, this is his army. He have two gyrocopters outside of this picture. But what he have is 20 coilers. In front of that, he have a gyrocopter, a cannon, uh, 20 iron drakes with a uh, runesmith in it, uh, with the runes spell breaking, uh, two grudge throwers uh, with uh, uh, re rolling scattered ice rune, a big bus of hammer with his spell stunner bear, and some kill it dwarf lord on uh, shield bears. And he has some long beards with great weapon, and the hammers will have the banner of uh, slowness, and that's basically his list. So unfortunately, the camera failed me <laughs> in this game too. Um, but for my deployment, as you can see in this picture, I have um, I have fast cap um, up. In this picture, out of this picture, and you can see a corner of a trap. You can see my peasant archer, and my errant lance, and my trap. Yeah, I standing inside the side because he have a cannon, and hopefully, this will basically give him a little smaller hitting area. You can also see my errant knights with. My no, that's my realm lance with the BSB and the general. My errant lance is. Um, out to the right of this picture uh, and if you want to know more about my army I will have it in the description below and a link to a video where I talk about uh, my army build well sorry for a blurry picture but this is showing after my turn uh, first turn uh, on this picture you can see I have five fast cab they got a flank charge on his gyrocopter, it was a long charge and I and I got it off so I break it and it flee and he will rally on his turn his other gyrocopter will go around and uh, take out my trap and uh, for his first turn he basically didn't do much I think he's saying shoot, he... he kills some of my... Uh, he tried to kill some of my peasant archer and he tried to take out my trap, but uh, he failed. And um, so for my turn one, you can see in the corner of this picture the archer. They have shot a gyrocopter, and I pushes my lances um, uh, further up <laughs> and don't care about his uh, chaffing unit. And I should also mention that in my first turn I get off his spell with the rune and he ate the curse spell. Well in dwarf turn too, he pretty much shoots, so he takes out my war machines now. Uh Yarocopter and the archer there will stand and grind until I actually kill it. <laughs> and then uh, that's it. Uh, he have taken some. I take some heavy losses for my iron knights. You can see in this picture. Uh, he have iron drakes and crossbowmen shooting at them. Uh, and unfortunately, I send two of my realm lances into his hammer. He have run of slowness, so one of my lances fails. And um, so that's why this end up there. So we have his. I have my. Uh, Lord lands with the banner of swiftness into his hammer alone, and uh, I take a soldier out to stop his iron drakes to charge my flank. Uh, they still like, manage to get his iron, no, his long bridge into my other flank, and I can do nothing about that. Uh, so, this is after in turn 2, as you can see, I did get off the bubble savage beast, so my character are stone hard in combat and they will kill a lot of his guys in that unit. And as you can see on this picture, um, 
I have taken some losses, um, but uh, my <laughs> lens with the hammers still ticking around, and this is turn three. So I have um, I send in my realm. I tried to send in my realm lens, but you have a gyrocopter blocking the way, so I couldn't charge. So I had to charge that thing down. Uh, I did get off a bubble savvy bitch again, so I <laughs> pretty much explode. Um, I think I was uh, I was not winning combat with the long bitch and the hammers. I was losing, but I only was losing. Uh, I wasn't losing that hard, so I was pretty much just sticking around, uh, doing some wounds. Uh, and uh, you may not see this on this blurry picture, but in the right corner, I have my Eric knights. They they did not flee, but I turn them around and they <laughs> run away because I only have two of them left, so they just gonna hide for the rest of ga the game, keeping those points away from him. Um, an even blurrier spot is his uh, crossbowmen have flank charge, one of my paladins in the top left corner. They will break him, he will run away, he will rally, and he will then charge down one of his grudge thrower. And you see the gap between his iron rakes and his hammer. I were able to shot a character out of the iron plants, out of that, into one of his grudge drawer, and it will kill it and run into his cannon. So I take out his whole war machine flying. And I didn't have any good place to place my level 4. So she will run around open, as you can see in this picture. Uh, and. Uh, Actually, before I can manage to get my fleeing paladin into his second grudge door, the grudge door managed to get in a hit on my level 4. I fail my lookout, sir, and I fail my war trail, and he rolls 3 wounds on it, uh, 3 wounds minimum at least, and kills her. And he gets a lot of points uh, for that. Well. Uh, this is the last picture of the game. Uh, it's not even my picture taking, it's his picture taking. Um, I have borrowed it from there and uh, he also have a battle report on his blog. I'll have a link in the description to his blog. It's kind of nice to get the two-way perspective of how the game went. Uh, interestingly or not, he, he actually think he had a bad matchup uh, and I feel exactly the same because Dwarf are I don't care if it's not stubborn, they just are hard to break and they high toughness, high armor. Um, well, what have happened here? Uh, you can see he have one remaining hammer. I will finally kill it because he charged my paladin over there in the back of him and I managed to do the last one necessary uh, and that fleeing paladin over there I have used him as chef to stop the arm breaker from flank charging my knights and they break him he runs away and he gets away and that's cool my archer over there they are fleeing uh, but they don't run off the board so I keep those points too that's a big plus and finally for the big combat in the middle we were standing and grinding from turn two basically um his i did get off some savage beast bubbles from time to time and get a lot of high strength attack on his unit but it didn't i started by seeing a lot of his character his middle standard beard died pretty fast and then my lord challenge is general uh, when with savage beast i'm strength uh, i don't see i'm strength seven uh, with six attacks uh, seven attacks with heroic killing blow but his uh, lord of disc managed to stick around pretty far pretty long i think it took me at least three or four turns to actually kill him and I don't even think I kill him I'm killing blow I kill him just doing a lot of wounds on him um, finally I got around when I got so much combat rest I managed to break 
is long beard and they run off the board the hammer is his mvp of the game because they hold up 50 percentage of my army all by themselves in the end because there were some frustrating turns that i just stood there and trying to kill that last couple of hammers with my knight so a lot of attack and i couldn't i just just didn't roll and he stuck around in his stubborn leadership or his dwarf so he must have been 10 or 9 or something like that so yeah and it was a fun game and uh, i did actually take most victory points but since the conf differential uh, was a bit i it ended up being only 100 points victory points ish differential to the Brisanian side so it's a 10-10 a door game so to say uh, so that's it for this short game without a lot of pictures uh, i hope you enjoyed it see you around